at your Facebook or Periscope or whatever and jump in there. So, let's dive into the next thing. And I was really excited about this today. And I don't know why. Like, I, I'd been hearing about it, and it didn't really, you know, but, but then you turn it on at 1 o'clock, and the SpaceX shuttle launch is going on. And I'm like, man, I hadn't watched a shuttle launch since I was a, a kid, I bet. So this, this could be fun. And they keep talking, and they're bringing on Katy Perry, and they're bringing on uh, all these different celebrities and whatnot. They bring in one of the dudes from NSYNC, and they bring in, uh, what's the American Idol chick that, uh, that you and I both thought was, uh, what's her name? Kelly Clarkson. They bring her in for a minute, and they do all this kind of stuff, right? So um, they've got all this stuff going, and they're talking about all the stuff that went into it, like the preparation, and it's the first time in nine years that the United States has, has launched a rocket into space. And then they have to cancel the damn thing like 17 minutes before it's scheduled to launch. Uh, Because they, I mean, they were having, uh, what, a tornado warning? And they had like all these different things, all because of Tropical Storm Bertha, which actually made landfall today in South Carolina. Uh, You and I have talked about this before. We we talked about UFOs and aliens and all that kind of mess on here uh, last month. Uh, We're kind of interested in this. It's not like we're going to deep dive into it and figure out exactly how space works and whatever but we are at no least but i like interested. space yeah i, I like just I, I i like it i i it's something that you know i don't i don't know enough about to talk intelligently at all but if somebody who does know anything about it i'll sit and listen all day long oh yeah all day long planetariums are my favorite museum type thing to go to visit to watch to listen to le- read learn as much as i can it's just something that i'm interested in i i think it's neat i think it's different uh i i have no idea what it leads to or where it goes but i'm i'm intrigued i'm in yeah the same here so so they had to cancel today which could you imagine being in that situation where you're an astronaut and you've been picked to go and there's only two guys that are going on this mission and you have been prepping for years and you're finally, you're in your suit, you are in the, the ship, you are getting ready to roll, and they're like, mm, nope, never mind, not today. Can't do it today. Like, we're going to push it back, so they're going to try again I don't know Saturday. what those nerves are like. I do think uh, both of these individuals have been to space before, so it's not... I, I, now, like I said, that, that was a long time ago, obviously, and it's not something you do all the time, so anytime you do, it's amazing, but I think both of these people have been to space. Well, let's let's try well, to compare the two. the first time to go up, and if it was your very first, and that got canceled, and then two oh, three days rough. later, I don't I don't know that I shit for three days. Like I just you know you just all <laughs> tight and just like all right, this isn't loosening up until I'm gone. Yeah. Well, it, all right. So so which one is worse? Having a, a space shuttle trip, even if you've been before, mm-hmm. having a space shuttle trip canceled. You know, going to space canceled like thirty minutes beforehand, or say you're a parent that has a, we'll just toss it out there, a seven year old and a nine year old, and you're supposed to go to Disney World, and the coronavirus pandemic hits, and oh, then you no, can't go. The, Which the one's parent, worse? The parent kid thing is the worst because kids just don't understand it. I, yeah. I, we told our kids yesterday about our our trip to Myr- Myrtle Beach. We've got planned, and it's been relentless just a million questions like we're going tomorrow and i'm just thinking you know what i'm about to stop telling you people stuff at all I'm just gonna just wake up one day at 6 a.m in the morning and get your ass in the car i, I packed all your stuff last <laughs> night get in the car we're going there you go yeah I, I, I'm no the, the the telling kids about trips and then if they get backed out on i and listen I, i've been through that my my entire life before my dad was completely disappeared out of our life was every summer, oh, I'm going to come get you and we're going to do X, Y, or Z. And just ghost, just in the wind, yep. just never never heard from, just it's, silence. It's better to not know about it than yeah, to plan. Nine months and then... later, and you're talking 12 years old, 10 years old, just get your hopes up, A, that you're just going to see your dad. And then, you know, yeah. nothing happened. So, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I get it. It's tough. But being that parent now, no, there's no way. There's no way if we had our Disney trip planned and it got canceled. I, I don't know how. And then not only did it get canceled, 
but now you're locked in the house with these bastards for three months. Oh, uh-uh. my God. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, forget that. Um, no. All right, Huey jumped in on uh, Facebook. He said, I had a doctor tell me Mercury was uh, was in Uranus. I told him I was not into astrology. <laughs> he said, no, my thermometer broke in your rear. <laughs> I swear to God. Michael said, it's pretty cool. I was really ready to show my five-year-old. Yeah, 100%. Kids, kids are all over this. Um, Huey said, I think the Simpsons had an episode about Homer going to space. Yeah, I, I believe I remember that. Um, and then Michael said, the parent thing is much worse. Kids don't understand. They have zero patience. Yes, 100%. Uh, Elon Musk has got to be pretty irritated by this, I would imagine. He doesn't seem like a patient individual. Um, so I actually wondered, because the skeptic is always in me. They knew this weather was coming. Do you plan it for a time where you think it might get canceled? Because I, liking this kind of stuff, this was on my calendar of things to do today. Get home by 3 o'clock so you don't miss this. Yep. Um, and, uh, and and so I was planning it, preparing it. But I don't know a lot of other people that were looking forward to it other than as soon as word got out today it's happening, it kind of picked up steam. Now we're going to spend the next three, four days of talking about it, build up, build up, build up, and then you're going to get it Saturday or Sunday. I I think if you're Elon, these people are talking about you. These people are talking about what you're trying to accomplish. They're going to try to fill the airways with information. And at some point in time, the information of getting the, the rocket up and back is not going to be enough. And they're going to want to dig deeper and deeper gets into Elon and his vision and SpaceX overall. Yes. Yeah, so this is so just I, another I advertisement. I think there is a marketing situation here where, yeah, he wanted to see this thing happen. I think they're going to milk the hell out. And I would too, by the way. And that was my thought was, is how many of these people were like, pull the plug. As soon as we thought it was iffy, pull the plug. We'll, we'll get it as close to possible, and then we're going to pull the curtain out from under them because we we want to milk this thing, and we want to try to, to get as much information out there into the ethos as we can. I will say this. like I, I turned it on at, at 1 o'clock, you know, Central God's Time. Um, it was it was really entertaining. Like Obviously, some of it's kind of cheesy, and some of it's So I know, missed whatever. all the crap you talked about. By the time I got home at 3 o'clock, it, it, all of the the bullshit was done, and they were just talking about the mission. People uh, uh, going the on majority, the mission. People, yeah, the all the celebrities of were out of there, and I'm good. I don't need Katy Perry to talk about it. She's the last person that I would like to hear talk about something. That Olivia I'm Munn sure. was talking about it. Yeah, don't, uh, don't care. Yeah, I, don't, don't care, don't care These about that. These people are beautiful. They are talented. That they they sing songs and they act and they they do amazing things elsewhere. And they know nothing. About you don't this. know anything about. I know more about this shit than you do. I don't need you talking to me about it. <laughs> Pretty much, but it, I will say this: outside of the the celebrities, because um, I don't care one iota about Matt. You said she bring those sharks. Nah, left shark was not there, not there. Um, but she was wearing like some weird space outfit. It was just goofy. of course she was. It's just ridiculous. Of ridiculous. course, she whatever. Was. whatever. She's go back to American Idol girl. It's all good. Um. Yeah, the just all of the information where they were talking about how SpaceX was built and you know what Elon did when he ini- like when he initially went to NASA with this idea and et cetera. Et cetera. I mean, it, the whole thing was pretty riveting, and I'm kind of happy about the fact that we're going to get this for another three or four days leading up to Saturday. I I thought it was incredibly interesting and and pretty entertaining. So yeah, now we got to learn more about it. We got to learn. Uh, we got to learn more about what the weather's going to be like on Saturday. It looks like the weather's going to be kind of eh. Saturday, Sunday is supposed to be completely clear. Um, so you know, your first chance will be Saturday. If that doesn't fly, then uh, then you're going to go back in and try it again on Sunday. Um, if I were them, I mean, I can't imagine what the nerves are like to get ready for something like that. So it's like it, I would probably just push to Sunday. Yeah, if you know like, the weather's still bad Saturday, I wonder because at some point in time they got to stop burning off fuel just to burn off yes, fuel. Yes, hundred percent. I mean, I get that the fuel is a drop in the bucket compared to everything they have spent, but it is still a massive resource that you just don't go to the shell station and buy. Agreed. Uh, agreed. All right, let's jump off of that. Let's get back into sport. 